No. The candy is not for you. No! He said trick or treat. <laughs> Hey Best Pally, I'm Allie, and it's Halloween time again, which means people will be stuffing their faces with metabolism kryptonite, I mean candy. So we're going to test just what Halloween candy does to our metabolism, and then we will compare it to just what this supposedly healthy alternative candy does to our metabolism. Get in here, experiment subject. We have our Levels Continuous Glucose Monitors on, and the Levels app, so we can see in real time how high our blood sugar may spike, and for how long. I don't think it's gonna be that bad. Oh really? That's my uh, hypothesis. <laughs> You're such a scientist. Let's eat. We're going traditional candy first. This is my favorite. Like, she picked this, by the way. Favorite. <laughs> so the reason she said that she thinks we'll get a little blood sugar spike and why that's a good thing is because it means our bodies are metabolizing faster. When you have a spike, you're getting closer to diabetes, storing fat, a bunch of other diseases. You don't want your blood sugar to spike, you want it to stay nice and low and level. I think there's a huge potential to spike here. We're having a full serving, right? I don't know, I might have four. <laughs> if you have four of these, you have to have four of the other tomorrow. Oh no. <laughs> of course we lick the wrapper first. One. <laughs> You're like Braxton, you don't even it's enjoy so it. Warm. Give a dog a treat. It's like, did you even taste that? Mark the moment that this entered our body. I'm starting at 81. What are you starting at? Your current blood sugar? 73. By the way, this is why we both have to do Reese's and then do the keto cups because our responses could be completely different. So you can only compare to yourself because nutrition is very personalized. Oh, nine grams of fat, 18 carbs, three grams of <coughs> protein. Protein. <laughs> there is a lot of fat in this, which could help blunt the blood sugar response. You want to have a mixed meal, which is a combination of protein, fat, and carbs. So technically, this would be better than, say, Sour Patch Kids, because that's just all carbs. Not that I'm saying that Reese's is healthy. I already had four. Wow, I'm impressed. Also, one gram of fiber, which is not really helping you in the metabolic race. And we'll talk about that later, so stay tuned. By the way, did you notice my bat wings? Yeah, everyone, they're Braxton. Hey, shh, <laughs> don't tell them that. You gonna finish that? Oh, you want it? I love them so much. I will say it was enjoyable. Now we need to do a taste test comparison, Be too. Be even. No idea. Or we'll save these to taste test comparison tomorrow. I have a feeling we're gonna be able to tell, even 24 hours apart, how bad the next ones are. <laughs> you think they're gonna be bad? We'll see. Now we have to wait two hours. We will not be active because that can also affect your metabolism. If you go for a walk after this, it will severely blunt your spike, which is fantastic, but then ruins our science. But if you want to see a walk after a crazy dessert meal, check out our video where we did that. So I think you should have the two leftovers. Yeah, I know, you're right. Screw it, give me two more. <laughs> I mean, it just makes sense. Mmm, enjoy. <laughs> so after that two hours of metabolizing, we can now take a look at our zone score, which is a number saying basically how well your body tolerated the food, oh. and it is on a scale of <laughs> zero to 10, 10 being the best, what is your score? Four. Not good. No, not great. Moderate spike. Uh, I got a three. Not great either. <laughs> Big spike, it said. And I was elevated for a really long time. So no surprise, Halloween candy by itself is not the best for me or you. But I, I want to, as a nutrition coach, tell people to f enjoy Halloween. Yeah, that is a good point. Honestly, once in a while, you don't need to obsess. Eat the d candy. <laughs> Just like, we're probably gonna make a video near Thanksgiving when I say, enjoy Thanksgiving. Yeah. Well, let's see if we can eat the darn candy and get less of a spike. Testing keto cups. Ooh, we kind of had an oversight here. Did not realize that one serving size of keto cups is only one keto yeah, cup. What a rip off. Mm. But I do like this packaging. It's, really cool. it's adult. Yeah, I feel smart for eating this. Should we? still do four to compare. They seem like the same size. I think that's fair. Oh yeah, we're doing four. The nutrition facts is 130 calories, 10 grams of fat, seven carbs, three grams of protein, but we have to quadruple that. So just to extrapolate from one of those metrics, this is gonna be 520 calories and the Reese's that we had was only 320 calories. That's a lot. So this tastes like chocolate. Oh, you're already in it. <laughs> it just tastes like regular peanut butter. You know how like Reese's is like, kid peanut butter like it's fake. This is like actual peanut butter in dark chocolate. Yeah, weird. It's not that sweet at all. No. It's sweet with monk fruit, which is a non-calorie sweetener pretty much. But oh yeah, this is not as enjoyable as no. the super sugar we just had. Like if you went to like a very rich person's house and they handed you chocolate, yeah. it would be like this kind mm -hmm. of chocolate. I kind of want to drink wine with it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what it makes me think? It's food, not candy, which happens to be on their bag right here. Wait, what are you starting at? I'm at 81. I'm currently at 75, so really similar to yesterday and 
Like I mentioned, we're keeping all of the variables the same, so I even did the same workouts today as I did yesterday, eating at the same time, same great level of sleep. They're not bad, but you know what? If you're having a craving, you could have one of these and be like, eh, it wasn't that great, I'm done. <laughs> what? I never liked candy. No, it's good. It does taste like food. That's what you're looking for. Oh, and I forgot to mention this. Whole bag cost $11. This whole package cost a dollar fifty. Deal. Yeah. It's really inexpensive to be unhealthy. But also, who knows if this is actually healthy? Let's find out. It does have fiber. That is a very good point. Five grams. Can mm -hmm. you believe that? So the fiber in this might actually make the spike from our blood sugar mm -hmm. lower than usual because it slows down your absorption of the nutrients, which is why you should get fiber with your meals. We talked earlier about having a mixed meal. So if you're having carbs, you also want to have protein and fat with it. But a part of that is also having fiber. Let's talk about better fiber. The fiber is really hard to get in your diet, especially around these times when your day is full of possibly chocolate. Have you seen when nutrition clients come to you at first, are they getting enough fiber? No, absolutely not. 95% uh, of Americans do not get <laughs> enough fiber. Whoa, that's actually a whole lot. So if you do want to supplement with fiber, I would suggest Bellway because it is vegan, gluten-free, keto, paleo, great for your gut, and it's delicious. It's Actual, really, really great tasting. Like, yeah, all their flavors. This one's my favorite. Mixed berry. It's better than keto cups. <laughs> Dip the keto cup in the fiber. <laughs> anyway, whatever. I'm very excited to see how this goes. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. These results are astounding. But before we get to that, any of you pallies that want to get on the good nutrition train and feel awesome, Christine opened a Facebook Come on group. Over. <laughs> It's gonna be a community where you can talk about your nutrition pain points. Mm -hmm. She's gonna be giving advice, Q and A's, right? Live Q and A's, not even just Q and A's, just even live discussions, giveaways. Hopefully we'll start to build a community where everyone feels like it's a safe space and comfortable to talk about their own personal stories. And then get healthier and awesome. Yes, that too. <laughs> and I really love the name. It's Stressed to Shredded because her specialty is dealing with people who have stress bodies that don't know how to fix it. And I feel like that's even me. Who doesn't? have stress that's right. holding back their health. I agree, 100%. I'm here to help. <laughs> I'll put a link in the description if you guys want to join. And now, well, the results, what do we get? I hate this, I got a nine. 10! This is insane. Those are incredible scores. Oh, wow. That's the best you could possibly do on your right. metabolism for a food. A food <laughs> that was chocolate, chocolate and, and peanut, peanut butter. butter. I, I was so prepared for it to spike me even worse than the Reese's. I thought about building it up being like, this is garbage and watch how bad this is for you. <laughs> and I didn't because I expected the numbers to speak for themselves. And it's the exact opposite. We're checking like every 15 minutes. We're like, are we sure? Is yours broken? <laughs> you still can't top Reese's because Reese's is okay, so like obviously. And also, your blood sugar response is not the be all and end all of health. There's so much more that goes into it. We're talking about fiber, macro, micronutrients. So I'm not saying that keto cups are healthy. I'm right. saying that they are certainly a better alternative right. for your blood sugar if you're thinking about having Reese's. Wow. And if you liked this science, you will like our sciencing about eating a bunch of cake and then going <laughs> on a walk because that was also remarkable results. Hey Best Pally, I'm Allie, and today I'll be testing out this hack to see if I can make my body good at eating carbs. Now what do I mean by that? Well, I'd consider myself good at eating carbs if my metabolism was so awesome that I could have them without getting a bunch of extra inflammation or storing them as fat or having a 